Now we are ready to actually start trying to describe our data set with some numbers, some statistics, right? So for each quantitative attribute variable, we can calculate statistics or metrics. So we're generally interested in at least two things. These are the bare minimum. We probably want to look at some other things as well, but we'll start with just the two basics. We need some measure of location. Usually we're looking for central tendency, so where do most of the numbers fall around. Right? And then we're also looking for some measure of spread or dispersion. So how diverse is this particular data? How homogeneous or similar is it? So to do that, we're going to first look at location. For central location, we often use the following three uh, statistics. The mean, the arithmetic mean, or the average, uh, the median, and the mode. So you need to understand how these three differ. The median is if I line up all the numbers from smallest to largest and take the one that's in the middle. That works fine if we just have an odd number of elements in our data set. If we have an even number, then we'll go ahead and go with the, the convention of taking the two middle numbers and averaging those. So that's the median. It's the one that's in the middle once I've sorted the data small to large and picking the one in the middle. The mode, on the other hand, is the one that shows up most frequently in the data set. So that may be something similar to the mean or the median, or it may not. The mean is the average. I add up all the numbers, divide by how many there are. All right, that's the arithmetic mean. So when are those three numbers the same, and when are they different? Well, for normal distributions, so go back to your prob and stat courses that you're supposed to have taken, and look up the normal distribution. The one with the bell curve, right? The bell curve, bell shape. The mean, median, and mode for a normal distribution will all be exactly the same number. It's the thing that's in the center. Right? This is also true um, for, for symmetric distributions as well. Right? So when we have things that are skewed, so we have some numbers that are out to the far right or out to the far left. If it's skewed data, then the mean, median, and mode will not necessarily will not be the same. Uh, so for example, salaries uh, for dollar figures, anything kind of measured in dollar figures, even like home sales, but salaries and things like that, we often use the median instead of the mean because there are those group of people that ha make lots and lots of money up on the far uh, right side of the distribution that will pull the average up. Uh, it could also go the other way depending on how we got our sample. In the far left, people not making very much money. If we um, had people that were homeless, things like that, then the it would drag the average down. So to, to eliminate how that is, how the um, far right, far left kind of stuff will affect the average, the mean, we often use median. And we do that a lot, especially for, for dollars. So that's how they differ and what we're looking for. So we can calculate all of these in Excel with some built-in functions. So the mean within uh, Excel is equal average and then in parentheses the cell range that we're interested in. For median, it's equal median in the cell range. Mode is a little more complicated. Uh, it's mode.sngl for single. If we think there's a single mode, meaning that there's only one value shows up more than once. If we think there's more than one mode, a multi-mode modal distribution or data set, then we use mode.mult cell range. That has to be put in as a array formula. So if you don't remember how to do array formulas, there's a link on Blackboard that points you to array formulas and, and just look it up in the Excel uh, work uh, help as well.
So let's go over to the data set we've been playing with, the beer one, and do some average, median, modes, all that stuff. So if we come back over to this guy, uh, I'm just going to get rid of the filters, and I'll go ahead and leave it sorted this order. It doesn't really matter. Uh, so let's try. Let's do calories. So first what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it a little bit easier on my viewing pleasure. I'm going to freeze the panes right there so I kept the the first row shown and then I'm going to go down to the bottom. All right. down to here right and calories so I'm interested in calories so let's do let's do average well, let's call it mean median and we'll try to find mode as well so mean again it's just average and then the cell range uh, so I'm going to type it in actually. I know it goes D2 through D177. Right? And then I'm going to hit F4 to anchor. Make absolute reference. And we see the average calories in 12 ounces of beer, 155.4. Notice that there are blanks and that there are, are stars and it still calculates it. So how does it do that? Well, if we go to the help function on Excel. Again, this is the, the definitely the way you want to figure stuff out. Help. And it doesn't appear to want to come up for me. Awesome. So it basically ignores those things. Right? Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and, and drag this down. It's still pointing to the same because I left it referenced or anchored it absolute and then for the median I want to do median 152 so the mean and the median are close so maybe that me starts to make me think that there is a uh, symmetrical distribution going on right and then mode uh, if we think there's just a single mode we do mode dot single and we said it was D2 through D177. One ten. Alright. So what if we think there's multi modes? Multiple modes. Uh, first we select I'm gonna select one, two, three, four, five cells, right? And then hit equal mode dot multi mult. D2, F4, through D177, hit a 4 close parenthesis, and before you hit enter, you need to enter this as an array formula. So in Excel, on a Windows machine, you hit Control, Shift, Enter. And it fills out the array that I had selected. So it says 110. Notice up here, it shows up as a array formula with the braces next to it. So because they, these all came out to be 110, that tells me that there's only one mode, 110. Right? So we've calculated central location for calories in the beer data set that we have, 155 for the average, 152 for the median. The mode is 110, so that tells me it's probably not a normal distribution. But it could be somewhat symmetrical because the mean and the median are about the same. Right? So that, that does it for central location. Uh, the three that we're interested in, mean, median, and mode. Next, we'll look at spread and dispersion.